Hey everyone, and welcome back to Farm Girl in Progress. I am Nadine, and I am on my way out to the backyard to figure out where we want to plant our watermelons and pumpkins this year. So let me show you what we're thinking. Okay, so we are at the back side of the garden. This is where the orchard is going. The greenhouse is now turned where it's supposed to be, so the fence for the greenhouse or the orchard is going to start at this corner post and come straight down to the back side of the shed here. But this is our sand mound and it takes up a really big portion of our backyard. We can't plant anything on it, but I can plant stuff at the base and vine it up the hill. So we're going to plant our watermelons and pumpkins at the base of the hill and use a string to guide it so it grows up the hill and it'll give us um, a little bit more growth space for our garden area in an otherwise unusable space. the holes prepped we did I just got enough to get the grass out because you only plant them an inch deep anyway and I just followed um, where the hill touch touches the flat part of the yard I did four holes for watermelon I did four for jack-o-lanterns And then I did two for gourds, two for um, like baking pumpkins, and then these ones are like the massive, gigantic pumpkins. <clears throat> so here we're just doing, where's your seed packet? Watermelons. And Nikolai. We're doing these sugar baby watermelons. Which ones did you, did you plant any? I didn't plant any of them, yeah. Okay. And I'm just going to do two per hole to ensure seed germination. So you just go about an inch down, and I'm just sticking them in the same hole together. And cover them up. And after I took the grass out, I put a little bit of compost to fill in the hole so they have good soil to grow in. Alright, so that's the watermelons. We're doing these jack-o'-lantern pumpkin seeds and again I'm just going to do two per hole to ensure germination and it's the same thing about an inch down and cover them.
next up is, and so the next hole we're gonna do ornamental gourds. I think I might just do, I might do three holes for these just and one the for the sugar. So. <clears throat> Can you eat those? No, these are just ornamental. Which means they're those. just for decoration. Let me see what we got here. We need these ones. Here. Thank you. And these ones are small, sweet sugar pie pumpkins. And I'm just going to do one row of these because I don't do a lot of pumpkin pie type stuff. Pumpkin seeds. Yep. Yep. All right, and the last two holes are at my husband's request. These Dills Atlantic giant pumpkins that get absolutely massive. So we're just gonna do two vines of that. Hold those, Desi. Right, one here. Right here. I'm gonna put the plant in. And we're gonna do one. Right here. I wanna do. Cover it up. All right. Oh. So now that everything's planted, what we need to do is put um, a stake at the bottom of the hole and run a string all the way up the hill to another stake up there. And then as the watermelons and pumpkins start to grow we'll train that vine to grow up the string and grow up the hill so it's growing in a straight line where I want it to um, but that might have to wait for another day we just need to get things watered right now and I need to get ready so work. that is how we are growing our watermelons pumpkins and gourds this year I'm excited to see how it works this is the first time doing it so you guys get to come along on the journey. If you guys have any questions, comments, um, recommendations for growing watermelons, gourds, and pumpkins, I would love to hear them in the comments below. So go ahead and leave them down there for me. Thank you guys so much for watching again. And remember to grow where you're planted.